Morning, this is Corey Suker coming at you again from Charlotte, North Carolina. And I want to touch back on uh, manufactured homes and flipping them. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had talked about that and the pros and cons of actually doing that. Uh, but I wanted to touch on another point when it comes to doing that. That is the HUD plate and how important that actually is to actually flipping and making a profit on one of these. We had bought that one a couple of months back and we thought the HUD plate was in the back right corner uh, of the manufactured home under the vinyl like it typically is. We decided to flip that home, did your bare basics uh, and flipping it, so new carpet, paint, lights, and put it on the market. Little did we know when it came to actually getting the loan approved for the buyer, the loan was through NACA, a federal loan, and they asked for a copy of the HUD plate. At that point, we had to try to find it. So at first we went in the back corner under the vinyl as we thought, and sure enough, it wasn't there. So me and my partner decided uh, that we needed to find this real quick or we were gonna be in pretty big trouble. We were gonna go from making a profit to potentially losing because now you can't get a loan on this. It would have to be a cash sale. So our profit would be essentially gone. So I reached out to one of my friends that's a mortgage broker and he gave me a few spots to find that. So it could be in the pantry, it could be in the master closet, cabinets, if it was original, if you replace the cabinets, it's typically going to be gone or typically sometimes it could be up on the corner outside of the A-frame of the outside of the house. So we decided to look at all those and it was gone. So at that point, we started to really uh, get concerned as far as where this project would even end up. So I reached out to him and he gave me something that I thought would be great to share, good information for anybody that decides to go down this road, how you can actually get a HUD plate. If you can't find the actual HUD plate, uh, now it's metal, it used to be a piece of paper, which looks like this. Uh, now it's a metal plate. If you can't find that, you have to find the VIN. What we did in this situation is actually reached out to the seller who had a copy of the deed and it was actually, the uh, VIN number was actually on the deed. At this point, little did I know, there's a website through the HUD actual website called ibts.org, uh, ibts.org, that if you go and you actually put in the VIN and some other information to make the model of that manufactured home, they will actually create a HUD plate for you or something that works to get that loan approved. So for us, that was a complete game changer. We went from, again, losing 15,000 to now making a profit on this uh, and change the whole dynamic of this flip. Thought I would share this with you. Uh, it's something that I didn't know. I've flipped many homes and didn't know this when it came to manufactured homes as far as what to do if you don't have that. Essentially, that's your social security number for a manufactured home and you gotta have that when reselling that and getting the loan.